I regret everything. My body physically won't let me do it. I'm literally sinking right now. Okay. Oh. Hi. It is time to desecrate my bookshelves. We are going to fork them up. We're going to give them a little beating. And by that, I mean by mixing my YA with my adult. And that's if I even have any YA left by the end of the in whole portion of this video. Scary. I want to go into 2020 with a perfect TBR. I do not want to bring all the baggage into the new decade. The reason why I want to do this is because it'll make my 2020 challenge much more interesting and I feel like it's no secret I will be turning all of my unread books around starting in January. I did this for like three months last year and you guys loved it. In fact I even did a poll in my community tab and nearly 2,000 of you voted for me to do it again. That's a lot of pro flippers. You even loved my blind TBRs along with it which there will be plenty of next year. In fact, I plan on doing them every single month. Even though I only did one, it is my most viewed TBR video. We will slowly color in my bookshelves, but that is not what we're doing today. That's January 1st. I feel like in my heart, if we mix all of my books together, it'll make for a more interesting blind TBR. I have a whole YA slash middle grade shelf right behind you that either just needs to go all together or it needs to leak into my adult section. That's the plan. I hate this plan. So let's just begin. I'm going to start with this shelf here. And let's get on with it. So here's the idea. I really like how these books up here look together. So I want to switch these two shelves around. And yeah, that, let's just do that right now. By the way, the other two books of the Mistborn trilogy is on a different shelf. So don't worry. But yeah, um, let's just switch this around now. Well, look who's hanging out in the Joe Abercrombie section. Sup, girl? I'm a couple shelves down now. Um, honestly, this is the first time she has ever, oh, she's ever laid on the shelf before. Oh, hi. Hi, Kimi. How are you? Okay, so next up, we are going, oh, hi. Um, we are going to deal with these books right here. The kitty would get out of the way. <laughs> um... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here that I can definitely unhaul or try a first chapter tag. What the heck, cat? You're never down here. Okay, she's just gonna chill, I guess. All right, yeah. Mm, nice. Ma'am? Um, ma'am. Okay, so all of these books are here now, and um, here's my thoughts. I love the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. I am very interested in One Dark Crown still. Uh, Ink and Bone is up here. The Royal Bastards is a definite unhaul. Frostblood, I want to read the first chapter of. Uh, same with Queen of Hearts. Ooh, The Valiant, I'm really interested in reading Kids about Gladiators, so that can stay. The Hunted definitely needs a good look at Invictus as well. So Kill a Boy Band is only here because it's the only contemporary I have actually ever enjoyed. Okay, so I think this shelf is done. So now to move on to this one. And already I can see a series, as you can tell, right here um, that I can unhaul. Yeah, scary. Age of Assassins. I read that book last year I believe and I gave it three stars it was okay but I haven't gone on to Blood Assassins yet these are coming off the shelf for now I, it's a pretty definite unhaul for me but 
we'll see how I feel like tomorrow or so, but more than likely they're gone. Um, another one I really feel like getting rid of is an orc on the wild side. I tried to read this one a couple months ago and I couldn't get into it. I ended up DNFing it. It sounds super cool. It's a freaking fantasy about an orc, which sounds right up my alley, but I've just had really bad luck with books about orcs. I don't know why. So now I'm just looking at every single book individually and I'm feeling really good about this shelf. I don't think there's anything that I want to get rid of. So this shelf is good. Now it's time to cull down this shelf right here. There are so many books here that I just need to unhaul so bad. So some books I want to read the first chapter of, Reign of the Fallen. Add that down here. Um, the Reader is another one that I want to see how I feel about it. And, oh, oh, uh, Warcross 2. I don't think I'll like that one, but I'll give it a try. These three books I have read and I actually like them. Uh, Reign of the Fallen is another, or not Reign of the Fallen, Long May She Reign. Uh, Era the Hunted 2. Alright, so here is my sci-fi mystery thriller shelves and it's time to add YA to them. It's scary. These books right here need to find home still. So I have some adult sci-fi and Stephen King right here which can all move over. I am seriously such a stickler when it comes to mixing my adult and YA but it, it needs to happen because it'll make my blind TBRs so much more interesting. Oh, Verify 2. I don't think this is a book that I'm going to like. Okay, so for now, let's move on over to my uh, YA subscription box shelf, pretty much, and my middle grade as well. Uh, we need to, like, cut this in half because it's getting out of control, and a lot of these books aren't really stories that I'm excited to get to. Okay, so I have pulled out some books that I'm not interested in. Sure would. I have actually tried reading and I ended up doing nothing it. I really didn't like it. Then we have The Beholder, Amber and Dusk, Wild Beauty, and Verify. Those are definite unhauls for me. I did end up reading um, the first chapter of Rule We Rule the Night and I actually really liked it. So I am going to keep that one. Going down more shelves, I put uh, Miss Peregrine's Home right here. And I've read actually most of these books except for Hunted and Echo North. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep Hunted because it's I didn't enjoy Sherwood. So I don't know if I'll enjoy anything by this author at this point. Okay, so I read the first chapter of Beyond the Dark and Shore and I actually really liked it. It reminded me of um, like the Dragonstone Castle from Game of Thrones. So that is a keeper. Okay, so I've been taking off so many books off of my shelves. I figured I would just sit down and show you all of them because there's a lot. I am being so ruthless and then we can just go ahead and move on to mixing all the books. It's just been a stressful day. So let's just get on with this unhaul. The Cerulean by Amy Ewing. Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. I could care less for the Divergent series, so I have no interest whatsoever going into this. The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. I read this, gave it three stars, won't reread it. Amber and Dusk by Lyra Celine. Wild Beauty by Anne Marie Micklemore. Long May She Reigned by Rihanna Thomas. This one was a little bit tougher to get rid of because it's a fantasy standalone. You really don't see that a lot these days, but I won't be picking this one up ever. The Traitor's Kiss by Erin Beatty. I've only kept it because of the cover. I freaking love this cover, but I read the first chapter and it does not seem like something I'm going to like. Ever the Hunted and Ever the Brave by Erin Summerill. Queen of Hearts and Blood of Wonderland by Colleen Oakes. I actually hate the original Alice in Wonderland uh, story, but I tend to like retellings of it, but I read the first chapter of this and I wasn't too excited. The Reader and the Speaker by Tracy Chi. The Splintered Silence by Kayla Olson. This just doesn't seem like something I'm going to enjoy. And the same thing with Verify. This just seems like a book that I'm like not the right audience for. A Danger to Herself and Others by Alyssa Shinmel. This was sent to me from Source Books. 
uh, in February. Not that excited to read it. And then I have Sherwood by Megan Spooner. I actually read the first two chapters of this and it definitely doesn't seem like something I'm going to enjoy. It is a Robin Hood retelling, but it is so like heavily historical fiction and not as mystical as I had hoped. Dark of the West by Joanna Hathaway. This is another one that I read the first chapter of and it just doesn't seem like something that I'm the right audience for, I guess. And then I have The Beholder by Anna Bright, another one that's like, woo, romance galore, and I don't like romance, so this is like entirely centered on that. I think it's about matchmaking. Like, gross. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I just almost died. Okay, so we have some tough ones here. Next one, An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I've owned this since it came out and I'm not gonna read it. I really hate to do this next one, but it has to happen. That's the Broken Empire Trilogy by Mark Lawrence. I read the first one, gave it three stars, it was all right, and then I ended up being effing King of Thorns. Not good at all. And the last few books I have here is definitely going to be triggering. This is where all my dislikes are going to shoot up, but um, okay, so how do I like bring this up to you? Queen of Shadows, Era of Fire, I know this is out of order, Kingdom of Ash, and Empire of Storms. I am unhauling all of these, and I am literally a walking unpopular opinion when it comes to the Throne of Glass series because I actually prefer the first couple books over the rest of the series because I despise Rowan. I hate Rowan so much. They're just taking up space. A lot of freaking space, as you can tell. And I don't need them. That's it. Okay, so that's the end of this unhaul, I believe, unless while I'm mixing books around, um, I decide to unhaul something else. But yeah, let's move on. You know what? I can't believe I'm about to do this because I just had like a huge organizing video. Um, when was it? August or, or July or something like that, but I moved my Dwabber Crabby section, which used to be right here, but I kind of miss that. <laughs> I feel like this will make me so much happier to have Joe Abercrombie right here again. This was his home originally. That means I like need to change like this all these shelves. Oh my god, what am I doing? I regret everything. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. I can't believe I'm doing this again. My body physically won't let me do it. I'm literally sinking right now. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh my god, am I gonna regret this? Yep, here we go. Here we go. I'm so stressed right now that I feel like I need to just turn the camera off. I will give you guys the end result, but I just need time to myself. So I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, I think it's safe to film now. So things are happening that I didn't expect. So I'm just gonna go with it. I haven't even moved Joe Abercrombie to his spot yet, but it's it, it'll work out. So I'm just moving these books down here. Can you even hear me? I don't even think I'm going to be mixing my YA with my adult at this point. Okay, so I have some YA arcs here. Do I want to keep these? Okay, so A River of Royal Blood, definitely. It's a African-inspired fantasy, I think. For sure, I want to read that. Um, Fireborn, it's a YA fantasy with dragons. Can't deny that. Okay, things are looking pretty good. Come on, this is freaking sexy. I'm gonna bring you down, and I'm gonna sit down, cause I need a break. This is pretty much like a favorite shelf, and I've always regret moving it over here, where it's kind of like behind me in my videos. I need it up front and center. So if you're new to my channel, uh, you're about to see like what I prefer, Joe Abercrombie. <laughs> oh my gosh, this feels right. This feels right yet again. So I have an empty shelf here, but I really don't want to put short paperbacks here. So I'm going to put tall hardcovers, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan, that's the plan. Which means Brandon Sanderson will get full front and center which is great. Brian McClellan. 
as well. Oh my god. Fuck. So, this bothers me right here. Does it bother you? So, I didn't accomplish what I set out to, to do to do today. Words. So this kind of ended up being like, fuck all these books that I will never read and I've been holding on to for no reason and just get rid of them. That's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this organizational mess. I hope it satisfied your thirst for another organization video because you guys know how much I hate organization videos where they're sped up and there's just music over the video because that's boring. I really like to know what the person is thinking and their reasons for putting a book in a certain place. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed because it helps me out a lot. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. I upload videos every single week. Follow me on Instagram at Holly Hearts Books and on Twitter at Holly Niece and until we meet again, Happy reading.